Hey everybody, welcome back to some more Terra Firma Craft. I'm Mr. Envelope, and we're back at the main base. <laughs> Feels really good to be back over here. Um, and geez, did it take a really long time for us to get over here. Uh, I turned the waypoint on and just kind of went in a straight line. Uh, all the way. <laughs> all the way over. I went through some new land right here. Came through and I think this is it. Yeah, right here. This is the quarry base. <laughs> looks kind of funky from up above. This looks like such a mess. And it is such a mess there still. I didn't get too much uh, extra done over there though. Because uh, right, right at the end of recording last episode. Oh, I was going to the food station. Uh, right at the end of recording last episode. Uh, I went... I went to some little body of water and it started freezing <laughs> and I just was like nope gotta get out of there um, so I skedaddled I came straight over here or I made some preparations um, I grabbed a few things that I for sure wanted to bring over how do I do this do I just right click there we go I grabbed a few things that I wanted to bring over like some andesite stone cobble uh, we got that on us and oh and I wanted to check something else too <laughs> um, grabbed that and what else did I grab oh all of the iron and stuff I grabbed all that stuff and brought it over here what's up with this why why can't I make a sandwich there we go <laughs> just want one or I wanted to see if that would work uh, that bread was rotten pretty much um, but yeah just grabbed a few things came over here um, I'm gonna bring back I gotta keep a special barrel uh, full of things that I'm bringing back uh, but the thing is I'm not bringing back the barrel uh, because we're gonna also be taking back an anvil and I think we're gonna take this iron one right here this is iron right I think it is I need a new pickaxe and I need to put my armor on where's my uh oh where's my chest piece <laughs> uh I might have dropped it somewhere um, but we need like new tools and stuff too because all of our stuff finally broke so we got a new pickaxe actually one of the pickaxes should have some durability used up on them is it this one oh, I guess not weird oh no we, we we were using it duh uh, and then we need a new axe like our new main weapon because I've been using the mace um, because our our axe like broke almost immediately <laughs> uh, when we got over there um, does this one have durability it does okay I'll take this one um, what was I saying oh yeah new weapon replacement I've been using the mace it was okay but this is much better uh, and then we got our new pickaxe shovel and that's gonna be dying soon and I need to make a couple things while we're here uh, the main priority today is going to be to get some subscriber orchard stuff done because we have uh, a pretty sizable list like seven editions um, and there might be more I looked through all my comments and I tried to go I tried to go back and find everybody who requested stuff and I said yeah yeah you know you just gotta wait <laughs> tried to find everybody um, and I feel like I might have missed some people so if people have requests for the subscriber orchard and we don't do it today uh, let me know and uh, we will definitely get you in here uh, so when I came back to uh, I saw that the cows I don't think this needs to be there I don't think it's supposed to be there uh, I saw that the cow had its baby or both of them had their babies I think I think we had two that were pregnant I mean, be just one one two three four five six seven that's pretty cool that's a lot of cow <laughs> and then uh, all of our chickens are still being chickens um our pigs I'm pretty sure I left some of them pregnant but I no I'm thinking about it I think I had I not advised against it I thought I maybe I shouldn't try to leave them pregnant because we just have so many um because it doesn't look like there's a bunch of babies running around but we also have a pig just running around over here I think he might have escaped because I don't think that's a wild pig kind of hard to tell and then we got our sheep bros and the the one blue lady <laughs> pretty cool just chilling over here these guys were such a pain to get and then I feel like every time we go outside of our base um, there's just tons of sheep everywhere uh, I was gonna use the andesite cobblestone in the new subscriber orchard 
but I can't find uh, my chisel. I left the one that we brought back over there, so I guess we have to make a new one. Uh, what I'm trying to do right now, though, is I got a bloom going. I guess I could probably start doing some of this right now, too. Uh, I have a bloom going in the bloomery, and we're going to make some iron things. What are we doing? Uh, <laughs> we're making, we're going to make a grill, I think is what it's called. I've never played with this before, and somebody suggested it a long time ago, uh, and then I think uh, sometime more recently someone suggested it, so uh, we're going to do that today because it's something I remembered, and uh, we also have to do some other metalworking stuff because somebody uh, for the subscriber orchard, uh, they, they've requested a black steel sword, and that cost two black steel ingots, or no, four black steel ingots. Uh, and then, you know, each one of these, <laughs> uh, the recipe for these are pretty nuts. We gotta work that by combining pig iron and weak steel. Uh, the weak steel is made inside of our blast furnace with iron, which is a pain in the butt to get. And then we got the pig iron, which is just more iron that's been processed in here. It's a, it's a big process. So this stuff, this is gonna be pretty expensive addition to the subscriber orchard, but... Uh, it's what we're going to be doing. So let's put those in there. Let's put the one bloom in there. Uh, and then we got to go get some coal. Should we use coal or charcoal? Let's just use our put coal. Uh, I'm going to probably have to <laughs> blast mine. Um, some of the coal that we have in the local area. Just because we're almost out. I think that's what we did with this stuff. That's how we got like all of this coal. We blew up um, a big old chunk in the ravine behind our house and stuff. And I'm, I think that's where we got all of our coal. We we had a pretty good amount, or I guess we still do. 21 blocks and then four stacks of the basic stuff. Uh, but let me go ahead and get started with some of this stuff. Uh, I guess I'm going to make a chisel. A chisel and then we can just use a stone hammer. This guy just finished. I'll probably get another one of these going too. Did I do this right? I did. Cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then we'll uh, get started on some subscriber orchard stuff. Alright, I didn't expect a lot of this stuff to be done so quickly. <laughs> uh, so that's together. Whoops. Didn't mean to throw that on the floor. Uh, and then this one will be together. All right? There we go. Gotta watch that hammer because it looks like it's gonna break in a second. And then this one, uh, we can work it really quick. We're gonna break it down. And we'll get some uh, refined pieces of bloom. Oh no, we'll get the refined bloom. And then we gotta... Hey. And then we gotta... And then... We... Oh my god. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> what did I do? What happened? Oh, it's all right there. Okay. Uh, then we get the refined pieces of uh, iron. Put those in there so they'll keep staying hot. Um, and then these two... We are going to, what do we do? <laughs> oh, we just need one of these for a sword? Am I that dumb? Come on, sword. Ah, oh, man. Okay, well, we have one of these for something else. Uh, so we got to do bend, bend, and then break. Or no, bend, bend, and then hit. So bend, nope, nope, nope. Bend, 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 hit. Damn it. Bend, 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 bend. Hit. There we go. Black steel sword. Did it. Easy peasy. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do with this, but it's not going to go to waste because we're also still in the process of making uh, the black steel armor. We have the pants. Kind of hard to see. Uh, the pants and the chest plate. So we just got to make the boots. Can we make the boots out of this? Oh, we can make an unfinished helmet with that. Okay. Maybe we should try to do that really quick since... We kind of have it going. Uh, let's keep this burning. Let's put some more coal in there. And then with all these little guys, we're just going to refine these into their ingot forms. Because that's what we're doing. And we're going to do it flawlessly. <laughs> Come on. There we go. Okay, we got the sheet. Uh, oh, we can do either. Let's do the boots. I guess. I don't know why. I decided to do the boots first. Uh, oops, did that completely wrong. So we got to shrink and then bend, bend. Almost. Shrink, bend, bend. That was really close. <laughs> shrink, bend, bend. 
not good enough. All right, let's weld two pieces, or no, we're gonna weld four pieces of iron together. Wait a minute, is this it? This might be the recipe. Uh, uses, I don't wanna cool this down. Oh, okay, we gotta do it in there. So if we do this, we should be able to make a grill. Uh, oh, this is gonna be rough. Draw, draw, bend, okay. Draw, draw, bend. Nope. All right, let's try this. We gotta do draw, draw, bend. Draw, draw, bend. I am doing so bad at this today. Bend. Oh, finally, we got the grill done now. Uh, we're just working on the boots. The boots, and I guess processing the rest of this stuff. Um, so, I'm gonna get... I'm just gonna get the boots done. Um, <laughs> I'm not gonna show it at all. Um, and I'm also gonna process a bunch of iron, and we're gonna also try to make a hopper. Hoppers are pretty expensive, too. Um, oops, not a G hopper. <laughs> uh, hoppers are pretty expensive, too, but I want to check them out. Um... Yeah, they take double sheets, and then each sheet is, you know, or each double sheet is two sheets, and then each sheet is new ingot. So, yeah, they're pretty expensive, but not terribly expensive, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm going to work on this stuff, and then I'll, I'll meet you guys back. Uh, I'm also getting pretty tired. <laughs> uh, I might stop recording for the night, too. What am I doing? What am I doing? Uh, drink. Bend, bend. Nope, that was... I was wrong. Yeah, I'll see you guys in a sec again. Alrighty, guys. So, uh, I'm all done doing some smeltery work. Uh, I forgot to mention, too, I had some of the copper that we got from, uh, you know, the quarry base. Um, I had some of that melting down in here, and I casted it into the ingots and stuff. So, some of that is done, and uh, I didn't realize. <laughs> we still have a whole bunch of copper here. We have all of this limonite here. Uh, that's all poor stuff. Uh, over here, yep, we got all this hematite. Got some rich stuff over here. <laughs> uh, we got some more just normal stuff. Uh, 25 units right there. Uh, and then we have... Oops. And then we have all of this rich stuff too. So, pretty cool. Uh, I brought some claystone over as well. And um, enough of that. I think... We're good. I did a whole bunch of uh, extra stuff too, like I said I was going to do. Uh, I recorded this like a night ago, so I'm pretty hazy on what exactly I did. <laughs> um, but I made the grill, and I made a hopper, and I made enough to make uh, some more sheets so we can make our first minecart. Um, that's pretty cool. <laughs> uh, the minecart is going to be so we can test... Um, oh, I should grab from that pile. Jeez. <laughs> uh, let's put this back. One, two, three, four. Was it four? I just saw the recipe. It's four. Okay, so let's pick these up. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and play with some of the um, the minecart stuff today, too. We're not going to set anything up here. Like, nothing permanent, at least. Uh, but I do want to see, you know, just make sure that it works. Wow, that was a weird lag spike. <laughs> So, I believe it went like this. Nope, like this. Nope, like this. Uh-oh, like this. Oh, we need two sticks. There we go. 64 powered rails. That's nuts. Okay, <laughs> and let's grab a lever so we can power this. And this should pretty much be it. I don't think we're going to need anything else to get this to work. Um. Yeah, we'll just... Uh-oh, <laughs> already got a problem. Uh, you know what? This this is fine. We're just we're just playing around. Yep, definitely is a minecart. <laughs> and we can pick it up. Okay, cool. That would suck if it broke. Uh, let's grab all these. Um, we'll probably make a f well, we'll we'll for sure make a few more of these before we head back. Um, and I wanted to see too. Can we do this? We can't. Probably because uh, this can have an inventory. Um, you know. Hoppers have inventories. Do they have inventories? We just place them down? They do. Interesting. Nothing happens, right? Nothing's broken. 
interesting. I wonder if these uh, break. <laughs> uh, if they can get destroyed by blocks and stuff too. Alright, let's do a little test. So let's put down the hopper. And let's just drop some cobble on it. <gasps> oh, Jesus scared me. <laughs> so they can break. Okay. Um, so we, you know, we won't use them for anything. Or, if we do, we'll be careful with them. But we won't use them anywhere near, like, cobblestone, pretty much. Um, I wanted to make the hopper to see if I could feed, um, ores and stuff into the crucible. But it doesn't look like they interact with each other. Um, I could have been feeding it into it wrong, but I put the hopper like this, and where did those go? You know, I put in the the ore right there, and nothing happened. Right? Yeah. These can just go inside without this being turned on. Yeah, so that's kind of disappointing. <laughs> but, the, like, the thing still works. Like, if I drop stuff on top of it. <gasps> Whoa! Okay, maybe it doesn't work. <laughs> okay. Uh. Nope. Dick. Nope. Okay, does this not work at all? Weird. I wonder if the item physics is just being buggy? Or if the hopper actually doesn't work. I swear I was trying it around last night. And it was totally picking things up. That is very strange. What's the point of making a hopper then? <laughs> I thought we could actually use it, you know? But, damn, that sucks. Ah, anyways, um, we got the minecart. <laughs> uh, we got the minecart. We got a hopper that doesn't really work. So let's just keep those in there for now yeah that's okay and we'll put that in there too no let's put this in the right spot um and we also got the grill the grill is um i tried putting it down <laughs> just to see if i could and it didn't work um so I, I went to go look online for help about it and i couldn't find anything about it uh like on the official wiki uh but it turns out it's pretty straightforward do we need bricks we might need bricks so let's grab some dacite bricks um, uh, you kind of have to do like a whole little structure for it. It can't just be like placed down and it can't just be placed down on top of a fireplace. You got to like have a whole little setup for it. So let's kind of play with it around over here by the food preservation area. Um, I'm thinking for this little grill, we'll probably have like a small setup back over here. Um, I think it'd be a cool thing, you know, maybe by the beach. We can clean this up a bit more. Um, so, how this works, apparently, from what I kind of understand, uh, we need another stick. Let's use this. There we go. So we have to make a fireplace. Um, one, two, three. Uh, we could just use a torch, but I don't have any on me, so let's hope this works. Okay. There we go. Okay, we got a fireplace. Um, you gotta have your fireplace, two, uh, walls. I don't think they need to be stone brick, but there we go. And then you can place it down. Otherwise, it's not going to go at all. Can I stand here? I can. Okay. Um, fire went out. <laughs> cool. But we can cook six things on here now. Uh, can we cook fruit? <gasps> we can. Oh, interesting. Let's go grab some wood really quick. I don't think you can't cook this stuff like on on the regular fireplace can you I don't think so and does cooking on here make a difference at all so if I put that there does this heat go up it does and you can still use the fireplace separately it seems like oh you can't cook squash in the fireplace why did I think you couldn't well we can cook more things here now <laughs> that's pretty cool um, it almost seems like it might be worthwhile to do, like, two grills next to each other just to make it look a little better, but I don't think it would work. I think, uh, each grill needs two walls on it, like, on each side. Uh, and if we try to double it up, I don't think it would work as well, because this kind of looks funky, in my opinion. Um, 
something doesn't seem right about it. <laughs> it just, it's so much. I wonder if we could chisel these or something, because that's not right. Did that seriously break? Oh my god. I think we burnt it. Let's put the, this other apple on here and see what happens. Or was it there? Just gone. I'm confused. What happened? Oh, this one's cooked. Okay. Cooking it, um, preserves it, right? <laughs> or is that completely wrong? I thought it did. How come we can't... Mm -hmm. I need a knife. Maybe I was cooking too much at once or something? Because now the apples are on there fine. Uh, it just says they're warm and they're just red apples still. They don't say cooked red apples. Now it's hot. <laughs> um, yeah, maybe today we'll, you know, clean up this place a little bit. But first we're going to go do some subscriber orchard things. I think I have everything just ready now. Um, I did a little bit of work over there uh, to light it up and clean it up. I put down those andesite cobbles. Cooked red apple dark. Okay, so I think any more and they would burn. Okay. Yeah, this is pretty neat. I do like this a lot. Um, if cooking food is going to preserve it a little longer, then yeah, I say why not? I don't mind cooking all the food. It gives me something else to do. <laughs> um, speaking of food preservation, though, um, before we headed out, headed out? That doesn't sound right. Before we left <laughs> to go to the quarry base, um, we did something to the config files. Config? To the config files uh, for the seller. Uh, we changed one of the like settings to to negative one or something. So pretty much that the seller should work now. Uh, instead of hovering right here, it used to say like the temperature is like cold or something, but now it says below zero like an actual thing. Still got plenty of ice and everything. Uh, but check this out. We've been gone for, like, all of winter last year. I think we've we've been gone for almost a year. Uh, an in-game year. And look at all of our food is preserved. <laughs> Nothing is gone. Like, there's still, you know, like that 0 0.5, 0 0.1%, whatever. Uh, but normally, all of this stuff would just be completely gone at this point. Um, yeah, so the seller definitely works now. Uh, we're still we still got those little bit of decay, but I think that's pretty normal. Everything is here. <laughs> All of our food is still food. That's pretty cool. Um, but anyways, yeah, let's um stop talking about food for a second. I'm gonna go. Um, I do like this. <laughs> I'm gonna go um get all the subscriber orchard stuff done, and we'll go take a look at all that. All right, we should be good now. Um, also, there might be some background noise because it's like the middle of the day <laughs> and there are children during the summer just screaming about. Uh, so right over here, we're going to have a redstone block and Matt requested that it was dust, which we can do. And I think it would be cool if this had a redstone signal. So, you know, it was glowing, but something I've done <laughs> for or that I did want to do. Uh, for all of these different um, subscriber placard things, uh, pedestal, there you go, that's the word. <laughs> um, for all these little pedestals is I, uh, I chisel. I chisel out some little pieces and honestly just one little corner bit would have been fine. Uh, but I chisel that out and I put a jack-o-lantern underneath uh, and it lets light through. So at night this whole place is pretty well lit. Uh, and then each one of the trees has one uh, right in front near the sign so you can read it. Um, so we can't do any redstone signals and I think a redstone block would be better. Uh, plus Matt did say that the redstone dust would was to signify that uh, he was into redstone. So I think the block will be fine. And uh, just in case, we'll put the dust on top too. See? Oh, and it even has the particles. Okay, I like that a lot. I hope that's good enough. <laughs> um... What else do we have? Uh, over here, we have a couple trees. Uh, not that one, not that one. <laughs> uh, this one. Isaac wanted a fruit tree, and I chose peach, because we don't have any peaches over here uh, at the new orchard. Um, the Canadian man wanted any fruit tree. I chose banana, because I like having the bananas around. <laughs> uh, Mahogany Onyx wanted a plum tree, which we have right here. And... Adam Holtzlander wanted an olive tree, which we do have one right here, and whoops, 
when I first got here, uh, there were olives growing, and I think I missed the harvest. <laughs> Uh, I've never worked with the olives before, but apparently you can press them down with the hopper uh, into juice, or not juice, <laughs> uh, into oil, so you can get olive oil, but uh, I've never I've never done that yet. That's another thing I've yet to do. Um, a, the real pricey thing that I mentioned at the beginning was a black steel sword. Um, a very pricey item indeed, but it's going to a good cause. <laughs> uh, Serum wanted it uh, for his pet dog, which at the time I think was like a month old. And now it's been like three months <laughs> since it was requested. Um, but the sword is here and the sword's name is Inkidu, I think is how you say that. Um, and that's the name of the puppy. So there you go, right there. Uh, and then our last bit, our last edition is going to be a soaked hide on a piece of wood and the piece of wood I think I could have put the wood in place of the pedestal but I don't know I think uh that might be kind of funky looking um just to have you know the piece of hide at this level um but we're gonna put the hide up here there we go oh like you can't even tell what that is though maybe I should just go ahead and lower it um I don't think you can chisel logs Where's my hammer? There we go. Oh, maybe we can. Okay, let's try this. Let's definitely try this. Oh, let's grab this. Oh, you can't. Okay, well, that's fine. Uh, we'll still leave the log. Um, and... Whoops. I guess we'll just do this. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> um, we'll just do that. Um, hopefully these two... Uh, jack-o'-lanterns... Will be enough light to make sure that this place stays lit. Um, I guess we could try to hide something back here too if it gets too dark we'll take a look at nighttime too and the hide awesome so soak tides there um i got a knife on me probably should oh, i was gonna try to make a smiley face <laughs> we'll just leave that uh well there we go now it's textured <laughs> i don't know uh but there you go uh a nege or a nege sorry if i'm saying anybody's name wrong um but there's you're soaked hide, and I think that is everybody's thing. Um, not too many, but a pretty good amount of people who are waiting and have been waiting for at least a month. Um, your additions to the subscriber orchard are complete. Uh, speaking of which, <clears throat> oh my god, uh, we gotta expand this place already because we're out of room for trees. Uh, we need more tree space, and I guess a few more um, pedestal places too. Um, so that's something we definitely got to work on. <laughs> I'll probably do it uh, off camera though. Put some trees back here or something. I want to add more like uh, land lumps around here. Maybe we can even go across this river, make a little bridge. Real cute or something. Um, that could probably be pretty good. Um, but there we go. Let's, um, I'm going to go clean out my inventory. It's not too messy, but I'm going to go grab some uh, things to make that uh, backyard barbecue place. <laughs> and uh, we'll go work on that for the rest of the episode. So I'll be right back. <gasps> okay <laughs> so we're gonna be working in this area uh again in case i didn't say that before uh we're right next to the apple orchard which oh no a big tree grew <laughs> dang it ah that sucks that's okay we'll deal with that another day <laughs> uh we haven't really been harvesting fruits by the way like you might have noticed when i got here like all the apple trees and all the orange trees were ready and they still have fruits on them uh, the reason why we're not harvesting anything is because we almost have, like, too much food. I could store things, um, like, in different places and stuff in our cellar, but I kind of want to, you know, keep things organized. I don't just want to throw things places for the sake of keeping them. Um, so I think it's better to just not harvest them altogether. Uh, I don't know. That might be kind of dumb, especially now if we can, like, cook food. I feel like we might need to expand the cellar again um or at least just have like a better organization system because a lot of those uh little shelves in there uh they don't have a lot of or they've never had like any food in them they're just empty because i don't know what to put in them so for example we have like one shelf full of corn completely i think it might be wise to do like this whole block is corn, you know, because corn is something that I constantly plant. Uh, I always try to make sure I have plenty of corn, because I like to feed that to the animals. 
Um, yeah, so maybe just redoing the whole sorting in there. Um, yeah, I got real distracted <laughs> with this whole topic. Um, what are we doing? We're making a little beach. No, we have a beach, but we're going to expand it a little bit more. Um, I want the grill to be out here, and this part actually seems pretty okay to me. The only difference I think I would do here is make like a retaining wall type of thing. I've been really into retaining walls. I've been doing it a lot on salt mine. Um, but with that being said, let's uh, push this back just a little bit more. I don't know if retaining walls are really a thing by beaches, though. That's my question. Uh, we do have a bunch of gravel and stuff and sand uh, with chert, so it should uh, match pretty well. I also found out, got them all over the place, <laughs> I found out with the grill that you only need these two blocks. You don't need uh, too tall. Uh, because this looks like uh, the hitbox is above the fireplace, so above this block space, but the model itself is below. So it's in this block space, if that makes sense. Um, so I think that's why you're fine with just these two. And I want to check also, can we chisel this? If we can chisel this, I think that'd be pretty cool. And then will this still work? It does. Okay. And then can we break it? Will it still work? We can. <laughs> okay. I guess you just need those there to place it down. Interesting. Okay. Um, that's pretty cool. I'm very happy with that. Um... Yeah, back to this retaining wall. <laughs> uh, I don't know if a retaining wall at the beach really makes sense, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyways. Uh, I also was thinking it might look kind of cool to throw in some uh, claystone sand and cobble. But I don't know. I think that might be too big a difference because uh, this chert color right here is uh, pretty dark. And if we start popping in claystone, it's going to... Oh, yeah, that's way too big of a contrast. Well, actually, <laughs> uh, I don't know. That's not too bad. Maybe we can use the claystone as the retaining wall block. That might be something to think about. I was going to do uh, andesite because we use andesite for the build right here in these random spots. Man, this building is really ugly. <laughs> but um, maybe, maybe the claystone will be better because we kind of want this to... Not be like its own thing, but it is like its own area in this place. I guess. I don't know. Uh, but let's let's just keep going. Alright guys, well this took a really long time, but I think uh, it looks pretty good. I think it paid off. Um, yeah, this is it. <laughs> it's really messy and everything, and I think that's actually pretty good. Um, and I don't know what I was saying or thinking earlier. Uh, there's definitely retaining walls next to beaches. Um, that's kind of how, uh, a lot of beaches get, like, formed and, um, maintained and whatnot. There's, like, special retaining walls, <laughs> especially in populated areas. I should know this. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think this actually came out pretty good. Uh, it's, again, super messy and all over the place. I decided to sprinkle in some, uh, claystone bricks and claystone smoothstone. Uh, I chiseled up the tops, added in some walls and stuff. I would throw in some, like, smooth walls and things like that uh, but we don't have that much claystone over here if I really want to I can bring some over from the new area because we got tons of that stuff um, I threw down a pile of oak wood you know to help keep this fire going in case we ever need to do that um, in fact let's go ahead and just fill that up and uh, I made these into kitchen counters so if we want to do some decorating um, we can put down different things inside of little counter space and it'll float on top like a little entity um and i was gonna do something special with the um the little stones right here but i think this is actually pretty good how it is uh one thing i think i do want to change though is uh right here i think i want to widen it a little bit uh because if we're gonna have like a little pit coming down it just seems weird to have this one spot right here um for coming down and doing your work you know uh, so let's go ahead and, well, I should have just did one side first. <laughs> um, let's put that there. No, 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 we'll put one. No, this is fine, this is fine. Uh, and then we'll chisel, hammer, 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 it's right there. So now, yeah, this is a little better, right? 
Uh, we got some church stone right here, so let's just replace that with some gravel. Um, we got, yeah, we do. We got some more of this and a site brick. Let's throw down a lantern for whenever. Ooh, that's a uh, making the FPS a little stuttery. We take it out. <laughs> it's normal. What? Oh, that's so weird. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Huh. Well, maybe... Do those ones do that? <laughs> I don't think so. No. Very strange. Um... Oh, now it's still here. What's going on? Maybe this is making some lag. I'm not sure. Well, no, because we're looking at it now. Okay, I don't know what's going on, uh, but there is some stuttering going on here. Um, this is really close to the water. <laughs> if this was a real place, why did I break that? If this was a real place, uh, it would not be very safe. So let's put that there, um, and then we'll do this side. Cobblestone. I think I like it a little bit wider. Oh, and then cobblestone there. Cool. So now this seems a little more like come down and chill <laughs> at the little grill right here. Oh, could you imagine? Oh, I wish this was real. <laughs> I know people got bonfires in their homes, but, um, not in their homes, but, you know, on their properties and whatnot. I really like that. Definitely want that wherever I happen to end up. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think I'm just going to go around here, um, sprinkle in some more andesite, and I think, or not andesite, some, uh, gravel, and I think we might be out of time, so I'll be right back, um, and we'll see how much time we got. Alright guys, well I do think we are going to end this episode here, so before we do that, uh, I wanted to try something really quick. I was looking at um, some settings uh, for the pack, and am I doing this wrong? Uh, I was looking at some settings, and there was something about backpacks from Better Storage. And if I look in Better Storage, there's also these lockers. I want to see if we can make one of them. Oh, it's logs, or er, blocks. Okay, that's what I was doing wrong. Um, if we can get these, I think, oh, nice. <laughs> uh, I think it might actually look pretty cool for inside of here. Uh, but I want to see, oh, cool. They do open. And can we stack these? Let's, uh, how many more do we need? We need, uh, probably more than that, actually. All right. Will these stack and nope. Oh, geez. That scared me. I thought a creeper <laughs> was coming. Um, Okay, why are you why are you doing that? There we go. Oh, they do combine. Okay, and then oh, that's a really big inventory. We still can't put like uh, tools and stuff in there. Well, not the normal tools. You can always put those in chests. Ah, very neat. Okay. Oh, and everything comes out. Cool. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have tested that because what if it just ate everything? Um, with these, now I'm thinking we can probably put some of these in here to make this place not look so bland. <laughs> um, oh, even just like right here, I think would be good, but let's, um, oh, that doesn't seem right to put it like right here. Cause there's like a window. <laughs> uh, we could probably take this corner piece out. That doesn't seem right. Let's, uh, let's just stick it right here. There we go. Okay, that doesn't seem right either, so I'll have to find a place for it. I do really like that, though. Um, I don't really know what we would stick in here. We have these knives, but, I mean, we also have these little hanging fellas. Unless I just want to make a whole bunch of knives. I wouldn't mind that, but why would we? <laughs> you know? Um, so that's pretty cool. That's skirty cool? That's pretty cool. <laughs> Uh, but anyways, guys, I think that is going to have to be it for this episode. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, let me know what you think of the little barbecue place. Um, little outdoor grill, fire pit thing. Yeah, there you go. Uh, let me know what you think of it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Bye-bye. Oh,